I'm Ryan and I'm 15 and when I'm older I want to be a police officer so I can help people out. In, uh, in fire training we got to put on oxygen masks and tanks and get to know what it was like to be a firefighter and it's it's a workout it's very hard to breathe in those but you have to be really good stamina to be a firefighter to do that. Uh, in fire camp we received uh, a lot of advice from a 40-year veteran who's been doing uh, firework for a very long time and uh, in the afternoon we worked with uh, SCBA's self-contained breathing apparatuses and uh, the students had a chance to try those on and experience what a 15-minute bottle of oxygen was like. Uh, we, we, get, we put on these uh, tanks and we were checking our breathing and how hard it was to breathe while working in conditions so we ran around the building and it's it's very hard to breathe in these things. You've got about a thousand, and you've got about a thousand left. Ugh. Uh, it was like it's pretty hard for firefighter. I think what the, the biggest thing is the ability to get a taste and get a feel for what a career is like and and uh, what it's like to take uh, take this path, you know, to to actually get a hands-on experience with some of the more interesting things. It's not so important that they get a feel for the, the different techniques and the, the exact requirements of the major, as it is just to get their hands dirty and, and, to, and to get involved in the career and, and feel it out and see if it's right for them. Uh, George is uh, our self-defense teacher, and uh, he works with a lot with the police, uh, the police academy here, as well as the ranger academy, and uh, he does uh, self-defense techniques. I do joke around that the police fire and emergency services camp is a camp for heroes, and I really do mean that in a way. Um, I think that if you want to learn to save people's lives, if you want to learn to help people every day, being a police officer, being a firefighter, being a paramedic is one of the things that's going to let you fulfill those goals within your life. And this camp really provides them an experience where they get to see what it's like to live inside one of those roles. We really want to provide the students in the police, fire, and emergency services camp with something that they can take away with them. CPR training is just a part of that. First aid training is just a part of that. Those are baby steps to get towards their career, but really, ultimately, they're taking the steps that they need to get into something that they're passionate about. Um.